Uh, hey guys and girls, welcome back to the Cozy Ghost. I'm your host, October, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. Our little pumpkins are gone, but that is okay. It is now November. Um, happy November to all those who celebrate. Uh, let's just get right into the game. Friday. Lowick to Ilgil Head, Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Here? Huh? There are more important things. Okay, so not there, I guess. Whatever. Let me just... This away. This away. This away. And I'll put this in clues. <clears throat> you were wise to put your support to the seeds of redemption. Together we are stronger. Now that the Dendru has awoken, re redemption is upon us. It is a glorious time. Our deeds will be remembered for a thousand years. Those of us that have put our faith in the Woken Dendru will be saved, but we must act swiftly. We will be in touch soon. Praise the Dendru. Alrighty. Sure. Uh, who was that? Ennis Aylford, a man who claims to represent the group known as the Seeds, the group known as the Seeds of Redemption. He grew up in nearby Gosforth, but is rumored that he spent some time living in Rydal Cave. It's not clear what happened in the intervening years, but by the time he came to Undermere, he had dedicated his life to the one he calls the Woken Dendru. Fascinating. Forest Vare. Forest is one of the Dreyer, a group that builds a tolerance to the harmful effects of Dranthium from childhood so they can harness the, pan the plant's potent mind. Mind-enhancing abilities, my bad. It comes at a price. They will die if they stop taking it. Rumors that an ancient evil has arisen were too much for Forest to resist. Dreyer means hunter in the old tongue. He has traveled a long way to kill it. Little is known about the mysterious woman in the Jade Mask. She's occasionally seen in Undermere, but people understandably avoid her cold demeanor. Simone Green. Simone loves books and reading. She is also irritatingly organized and has begun the overwhelming task of rearranging the library at Ambleside. Her new system works, but it will take years to catalog every book, scroll, pamphlet, and diary. In the meantime, every day yields new discoveries, buried fragments of ancient knowledge resurfacing to the light like arrowheads to archaeologists. All right, so I've gone through four people. I guess in the next episode, I will go through more. Oh, there's one character we haven't unlocked. Okay, cool. Let us try this again. I find myself outside a beautiful house almost hidden in overgrown foliage. A deep hum of bees suggests a hive is nearby. A heavily laden apple tree leans temptingly from the other side of a high wall. I would dearly love to stay and explore the gardens of this hidden sanctuary, but I do not have the time. All right. Oh, the Jade Mask. My mind is clouded, dark. I see it and it sees me, all of me. Elder Finium is the answer it must be. Okay. I will not forget those who helped me, horticulturist. I labeled Elder Finium. Ah! Here you go. Woo! Larkshine. All right. Grace Enright. My mum was into horticulture. I found this among her things. Golden light, that's a plant, right? I'm not sure what long Meg could mean though. Is that another plant? Anyway, I thought you should have it just in case it any help. She loved this shop. Golden light? Start at Long Meg. S3E2. Golden light? Let me... Long Meg. Long Meg? What is Long Meg? So not that. Golden light? Let me check this. I don't have golden light in my book yet. Long Meg. Maybe I have Long Meg in my book. I don't think I do, though. Nope. Long Veracund? Hmm, no. 
S3E2. I don't know where I'm looking. These ones are difficult. Either that or I'm stupid. Anne Wood. Help me! The amulet. I can't remove it and it's drawing its life from me. Long Varicun- What? Long Varicun? I literally- Do I have that? Do I have that? I, I don't think I do. Okay, shit. Okay. My game is glitching the fuck out. No. Shoot. Do I have long varicund? Um... I don't think I do. Hint. At the clue card. The- 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 What does this mean? The clue card? Give me the clue card. I don't have it yet. Shit. Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Torver? No. What the fuck? Okay. Nothing here. Oh my god, what am I supposed to find? New hint. There's- I literally can't draw that line. There's no line to draw. What do you- what do you want from me? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, that took me so fucking long. The magpie sees me before I see it. I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me, and I feel an urge to leave this place, but not before collecting a plant for further study. One for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie and another plant I've never seen before. Two for joy. One for sorrow, two for joy. This is the one she needs. Take it. God. I can feel it working. Thank you. Hold the fucking phone. What plant was that? What fucking plant was that? God damn. Long Varicund. I can shove all of these on the same shelf. That is so funny to me. Okay. Uh, yeah. <sighs> That's so frustrating. I can't believe that took me so fucking long. Kent me your eye. I don't know what that means. I do not know. Amos Duncan. It's good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road so long I'd started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. I'm back in town for a few days though, and I wanted to give you these before I forgot. I found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. I almost threw them away, but I thought the symbols on them might mean something to you. Good lord! What? Do that? Oh. Wait, are these supposed to match like flowers and shit? <sighs> why did I come here? I don't know. Why did I go here? Fuck. There's another one. This one. Oh, what? No, that one's not perfect. No. Uh. No. 
Hell yeah. So is this the first one? All these pieces of paper go together. Perfect. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, let me open- no, not you. My book. Close. Go away. Okay. No, wait, wait. What? Whoa. Huh. Okay. Can I take one of these in here? No. These to here? No. Mm, I feel like I'm missing one. Golden light star at long meg. Simone! I have no idea what any of this means, but it seemed like something you might find interesting. I found it while clearing out the nook off the east wing. Uh. Wait. Made from the crushed petals of three distinctive plants, Balox elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure that they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Balox and started and staring at a blank wall for twelve hours. Jesus. Um, shit? <sighs> um, yeah, let me check Golden Light. Golden Light comes from the east, right? Because the sunrise is in the east. So, yeah, no, the sun rises in the west. So, Golden Light. Um, Long Meg. Mm, Ilgil Head. What the fuck is Long Meg? I am legitimately so confused. I feel like I'm being like... <laughs> I'm being gaslit. That's what this feels like. I feel like I'm being gaslit. The longest of the rivers seems to be Kentmere, so let's just go... One, two, three... One, two. Why did I come here? I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. I keep getting all this information, but I don't know what to do with any of it. Okay. Well. I guess I'll end the day. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching stars. I N S S I N E S S W S S. A young woman alone in the world, she was taken in by the sisterhood and given a home. It was a chance for redemption, a new start. All right. Well, that'll be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!